How many unfinished artworks had you left behind? Me recently? Too many. Some obstacles that led you to the feeling of giving up resulting in miserity and helplessness. I know this feeling quite well now. Today's video is going to be a bit different. I'm starting at place that always inspires me a bunch and I want to share with you those moments. Some people hate modern art, some people love it, but for me it's all about the peace, the feeling of quieting your inner thoughts and entering the world and mind of the artist you know nothing about and you just observe, you look, touch, hear, you interact with the exhibition and you interpret or leave the mystery of the creation unsolved. But the best things happens after you leave the museum, you come back home to the real world with the weird feeling I cannot describe. Oh gosh, I think I need to speed it out because I think I have a problem. I feel like many artists can also relate to what I'm about to say. I have a problem with finishing my projects off. Yeah, I know. So, for example, last video, here is the drawing, right, in the back, and it took me like two weeks to finish one part of, which was the last one. Uh, also, this painting here. It is sitting here like for the last two or three months and uh, weeks, okay, two or three weeks and I just can't motivate myself to do it. And also the next thing, more examples I gonna uh, share with you. So I started knitting and crocheting, I used to do it, but I prefer drawing and painting, but sometimes it's nice and I wanted to make a uh, like sweater this is like the trendy one I like put it off for a over a week and just yesterday I started crocheting again to make the bag I really want to finish it but it just takes a lot of time to do this you know I've always had a passion for art but there's one thing I struggle with and it's finishing my art projects. It's a challenge I've been dealing with for a while now. This is my creative space and as you can see I've started numerous projects from paintings to sweater. I'm crocheting but I just can't seem to finish them. I'm not for the lack of enthusiasm or ideas, but I just easily distracted or just lose motivation. I'm sure some of you can relate. So I decided to tackle this issue head on. Over the next week, I'm setting myself a challenge to finish those projects once and for all. I believe it's important to confront our creative red blocks, and I hope that by sharing this journey with you, we can all inspire each other to push through our artistic challenges. This is not always about the finishing the product, but it's all about the journey and what we learn along the way. So let's embark our creative advantage together. If you liked the video so far, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel. It always helps a lot with the fight with the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Thanks in advance. The goal which I set for this painting was to finish it without adding many details with other mediums like pencils because I often end up doing it. So I wanted to finish it entirely using gouache paints. You can see I've added many layers of paint and a lot of details and I really like it up to this point but then I a little bit messed up and I wasn't so fan of the result. So yeah. Okay, now the painting looks more finished than before, definitely. 
I will wait for the paint to fully dry and then I will add some details maybe with pencil or something like this because I feel like I need to add some more shadows and details to the eyes and to make look everything uh, much more polished and finished and yeah just like mm. <laughs> Now it's the time for the crocheting project and the hardest part of this one was to just motivate myself to pick it up and do it. So after a moment of thinking I decided that the smartest move would be just taking these tools, crocheting tools and yarn everywhere I go. So in school, transport, just waiting for something I was crocheting and I really could see the progress because out of the boredom I would just start doing it and yeah unfortunately I am not the best at crocheting and I still make a lot of mistakes so actually I needed to redo three times the same part like I've seen that it was not straight and it was bulky and kind of shrunk at the one side so I needed to redo it so it just took me three times more time than it actually should and yeah actually I'm now ill so Maybe I will finish it, but definitely not this week, unfortunately. I'm so sorry because I wanted to show you like how I finished all the projects, but I definitely see the progress. I, like I am getting better at crocheting and also I can see the progress in the stuff I am doing because maybe with some problems, but I still managed to finish the front and the back of the sweater. So I still consider it a win. So yeah, let's get back home and let's finish the painting because I am very motivated to finish this one and I know for a fact I will do it so yeah let's get straight into it unfortunately at the end I decided to add some details with pencils I thought the faces look like without the life and just not mine it looked unfinished to me so yeah I decided to add some and actually I don't regret it but the goal was to try to do it with the paint and uh, I feel like I didn't manage to accomplish the goal I set for myself. I like how it looks, it's very different and I like this collage thing. Actually I did it to practice faces and I didn't meant to make it a entire like piece like full finished painting but it, but it ended up being it so yeah disappointed but still like something cool happened so, so I will leave you with the second of relaxing pencil sound it's so calming Now the most gratifying part, let's take the tape off together. Let's do this. I think the problem was that this paper was stuck to this uh, board for two months and the tape just was really really stuck very strongly to the paper and it took some of the paper off. I don't really like it. Like it is not tragic, nothing ripped, but it is like a little bit, uh, you can see something was stuck there. You know what I mean? So yeah, it is not perfect, but yeah. I was so stressed that I will destroy something so I needed to do it very very carefully and very delicately so it is not super smooth and I was terrified that it will uh, rip and I will destroy everything so yeah that's the end result really really like it I didn't know something cool will come of this so yeah Now onto the crochet project and this is the result of the first week so this is the start of the bag and I just did few rows and this is day before uploading this video and this is the front part and I have second back part and the only thing I have to do is connecting like the corners and uh, 
adding the sleeves so yeah i hope next week i will finish it i hope you enjoyed my video uh, i will see you in the next one very very soon